bring this over actually first see how my hip is kind of stuck here so I'm flexible enough I can bring this leg over but you should hip out more first okay so my butt's kind of stuck on her leg I want to hip out more okay I actually want to be like on my side when I'm playing this whole game here okay so I'm on my side not only can I bring this over more it's more comfortable for me and it's more uncomfortable for her okay so I want to be on my side here now from here I'm gonna pull this leg over what you'll run into a lot or I personally do and this is actually how I get a lot of my gogo platas it's not because I'm going for them I actually would rather do something else in the gogo plata but a lot of people, if they know you're going for that omoplata here, they drive in, right? Which is when I start doing this. But then if they know you're going for that go-go clinch, a lot of times they'll drive in really fast and hard here, okay? So we're not gonna let it get to this point because if your hips aren't flexible, that's not gonna feel great. But when they start driving in here, we're just gonna stop it. So I go, I'll let her come in a little bit and then I extend this hip, okay? So I lock this hip out a little bit. So that's gonna keep her in place, okay? Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crunch my upper body in as much as I can, okay? It's gonna be different for everybody, but I'm gonna crunch in. I have to crunch in more than somebody with long arms is going to, okay? Because all I need to do is come around and grab here. And you can even use your other hand if you're less flexible or short to kind of push here, okay? Because all I need to do is turn this shin. This is gonna be the hardest part of it is being able to turn this shin. What you run into is a lot of people they try and go go plata like this, like the side of your leg, and I'm pretty flexible, but I can't do that, okay? So you're running people and they go, I can't go go plata because I'm not flexible. I'm super flexible, like put my feet behind my head, super flexible. I can't do this, okay? This doesn't work because I'm trying to like choke like the side and like your knee's not meant to bend that way. If your knee bends that way, you probably blew it out. And I have blown this knee out, it still doesn't bend that way, okay? <laughs> so I need to make sure that I turn this so this is going to loosen it up on the shoulder a little bit but that doesn't matter because we're going to come around the head here okay and now if you can't just grab your own foot what i want you guys to do is i'm going to use my knee here to hold okay and then i can just pull here on the head now ideally i will grab this foot here but if you're shorter and less flexible it's going to be hard if you're a little flexible, it'll be easier. Or if you're tall, it'll be easier, right? Okay, but if you're less flexible, you might need to kind of post up here. So I kind of post behind and then I can just grab the head and I'm pulling it into my shin. That's why it's important that it's the shin and not the side of my leg. If I pull her into the side of my leg, it's gonna be uncomfortable. She might even tap, but it's not actually gonna be choking her, okay? So I need to make sure that see how I go from the side of my leg to I turn that hip here. So now it's my shin across her neck. So if we can, I crunch up. I grab my own foot if I can, and then I'm gonna extend. If I can't do that, I post under my own heel here and here and pull. Okay. There are other versions of the gogo plata. Like you've got your one where you can like walk over here or you can come here. But I actually don't like those ones. Um, they're not wrong. I just personally, it doesn't fit as well in my game. You would think this one would because I'm short and I'm really flexible. But I don't actually like that one as much. I feel like personally for me, I end up creating a lot of space when I do it. And it's unnecessary. Um, yeah. So we'll go back here. This one is probably, eh, actually the gogo clench might be worse. Depends on who's doing it to you. They, they both suck. They're both bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here, I go high guard here. I'm not going trying, but I saw a couple people going like this. Oh, I wonder who that was. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she wasn't the only one, but I gotta call him out. Okay, so I'm going high guard here. So I'm turning and I go high guard. So I need to make sure that I keep that arm. Okay, come under, grab. Now see how my hips are kind of at an angle? I'm not actually fully on my side. This isn't enough, okay? I need to be, keep this tight, they need to be on my side. See how I'm on my side? That'll make this whole thing easier. The entire series, not just the Google Plata. Now I'm gonna come back, but I stay here. I bring this over. And here's the part that I'm only gonna do this if I'm doing the Google Plata. So she comes into me, I extend that hip a little bit, okay? So I hear, and I'm just kind of locking that hip out, okay? 
Now I'm going to stay tight. I turn my shin. So it's a super slight angle change, but I just need to be able to rotate this shin, okay? So pay attention to your shin when you're doing that. If you can rotate your shin, then you've done it. If you're not rotating your shin, you need to move a little bit more. So here I just rotate my shin. So now my shin is kind of angled towards her neck, okay? Now, if you can, so I was staying here before, right? For this one, that's got like a whole foot there. Yeah, it's not gonna work. So you're gonna come in front and I come up and I grab and you can use your other hand to help feed it as well. And I come in, grab, and then we're just gonna extend. Now, if, the, if you're not flexible enough for that, see how I kind of already have this high bridging? I just post here. I'm gonna gable grip. Now I'm not gonna S grip like we were before. I'm gonna gable grip and then I pull and I'm gonna turn and drive my shin in. Okay. What do you mean by extend? Are you pushing with your toes, your heel? Like at first when I'm doing at it? At the very end when you're finishing, you say, and extend. Oh, here? Are you extending your hip? What and are you extending? here, like pushing up. Pushing up. Come here. So Thank I'm you. pushing my shin into her neck. Thank here. You. Okay? <laughs> and then, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Okay, I got it. <laughs> but here, what I'm doing, when I say extend, sorry, I'm going to push this up, but not only that, I straighten this arm out here. Okay. Because that's going to push her head forward so I'm not actually using my hip into it I see a lot of people when they try and play like high guard and stuff like that they rely so much on their hip to do it that they end up like either they're flexible enough to do it but not when they're tightening everything up and so you run into it or like their hip hurts I see people come over where they're like like not flexible people I'll see people here and they're like trying to like pull their leg up and I'm sitting like I'm not kidding I see people sit here and they're like this and I'm like one, you're gonna get your guard passed, but two, you're about to rip your own hip, and I've done it. It's not fun. Ow. Like, I, I've torn my hip in two places. It's not a fun thing. And but you'll see people, they're sitting here, and they're like ripping on it. I'm like, you're gonna blow your knee out, and you're gonna tear your hip, and you're one, you're probably gonna quit jiu-jitsu, and if you don't, you're never gonna wanna play high guard or anything like that. And it's not because of high guard, it's because you're doing it wrong. And yet, you'll have people that you'll try and ask them, you'll be like, hey, you know, it's not, you're, you can play high guard, and they're like, no, I can't. No, you can play it. No, no, I can't. I'm not flexible enough. Well, if you play it the flexible way, you're playing it wrong anyway. So here I'm coming out because if I play this the flexible way, it's the same thing like I was saying before. If I play this super flexible, I can bring this all the way over. But look at all this. There's so much space here. It's so loose. Okay. So when I come through here and here, I hip out to create my space. And now I kind of, it's kind of counterintuitive because I need to hip in a little bit to turn this shin and then come around if you need to help grabbing or posting and pulling but we're not doing this i've choked enough <laughs> right now any other questions on that and that one's a little bit more complicated than the other one and that's kind of the one that has i think like the biggest stigma behind it for non-flexible people okay let's get it one two three